Welcome to the World Tarot News for the 21st of December 2023. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. 47. Somebody could be 47. Somebody be born in 47. 74 could also be significant. Somebody could be 74 or born in 74. Or something happened in one of these years. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups. Somebody is fantasizing about the person who rejected them. Or maybe even a person they rejected. Who knows? <laughs> Somebody could definitely be a water sign or they're very emotional at this time and they could be drinking a lot. Five of Swords. This person could be fantasizing about somebody they had a huge blowout with. 95 or 59 could be significant. This person could be 59. They could be born in 95. They could have known this person since 95. Maybe they haven't spoken to this person since 95. This could be a air sign they're thinking about. Knight of Wands. They could be fantasizing about the person they had a fling with or an affair with. The Emperor. Somebody could definitely be a fire sign. Somebody doesn't want to be the Knight of Wands. They want to be the Emperor now. They want to settle down with somebody they were messing about with. Who are they going to settle down with? Look, 14. The number 14 could be significant. Somebody could be a fire sign born on the 14th of a month. The 1st of April is in Aries season, so April Fools. It's a trick. This person wants to go to somebody's home and sleep with this person. But they want to continue being back and forth. So they're coming in saying that they want a commitment. They want to be the emperor, but it's not true. That's why I'm getting April Fool's energy. I just saw 222. Two, two. So whoever this person is, this man most likely, he could be trying to go towards a person they dealt with on and off. They have a toxic tie with this person, with the devil here. This could be a financial tie too. The devil with the Ten of Pentacles could talk about the financial tie. So somebody could be married or they even want to marry a particular person but they're doing this because of finances. There could even be a third party situation. As I said that the Queen of Wands came out. Yes, absolutely. Three of Wands. Absolutely. Yes. Somebody's a fire sign or they have a lot of fire in their chart. And this person is already in a relationship. But they're also going towards another person and even trying to marry this person because of finances. Somebody could have become rich all of a sudden. The moon. 18. 14 and 18 again. There are two people who are colluding against another. And one of these people is born on the 14th. The other one's born on the 18th. Just like I said yesterday, the Hierophant, number 5, 45 or 54 could be significant. April and May. Somebody could be on the cusp of Aries and Taurus or there's an Aries doing something together with a Taurus. Pisces energy is here too. Lots of people say that the moon is Cancer, but no, it's actually Pisces in tarot. But Cancer is governed by the moon, so there could be a Cancer or somebody who is Cancer in their chart here too. Two of Wands. Five of Wands. 25 could be significant too. Somebody be born on the 25th or they, they are 25. The 25th of August. I remember... I was saying that somebody's twin flame would be a new person they haven't met and that they would meet this person on the 25th of August. So this might have something to do with that reading. 
I don't know if somebody reunited with their twin flame on the 25th of August or they met their twin flame on the 25th of August, but there could be somebody else who wants to come in because this person is together with the person they're really meant to be with and they're trying to break them up. Or if the two could not meet on the 25th of August, maybe they will now. But I'm getting a lot of interference here. There are a lot of people who are trying to come in and marry a particular person to lock them down and block them from their true love, possibly, or their life purpose. But their true love might have something to do with their life purpose. The tower. Lots of major arcana here. This could be a blockage. Somebody's trying to block this person's um, ascension or their marriage or anything they're starting or they've started recently, this year, basically. Justice and the hangman. Look at all the, the major arcana. This is crazy. These could be the signs of some of the people standing in the way of this union or whatever this is that's supposed to come together. Aries, Taurus, Aquarius. The tower can also be Scorpio or Aries again too. The hangman is Pisces and Justice is Libra. Something about the 11th of December could be significant. That's in Sagittarius season. We also have Sagittarius energy here with the Knight of Wands. Something could have happened in Sagittarius season. With the Justice and the hangman, it could be that somebody was executed or somebody's on death row. Somebody could be from the United States of America. This person could literally be on death row or they are in another country where people are still executed. Somebody could have even been hanged or they are sentenced to be hanged. And yesterday I was getting strong vibes of torture methods involving hanging I've been getting multiple messages yesterday about this type of torture method in particular and something about the hands. They are hanging the person possibly by the legs or by the hands and they're going to um, destroy the person's hands or arms and legs. Somebody could be doing something with their hands. They could have a very physical job or a very creative job where they have to use their hands a lot. And there's a person who wants this other person to lose their ability to use their hands. So this is a continuation of the reading from yesterday. They could be trying to do this to um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I said I'm not going to talk about those things anymore, but it's coming through here. There's a whole group of people. This could be a religious group, a cult, a coven. And they're trying to keep two people apart. Or they're trying to keep one person away from their calling. So that this person can't do anything. Because their hands don't let them or their legs don't let them. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is about to become very abundant. Whether they're coming into union with a person and they're starting something together, they could have a purpose together. These could be two people who have a purpose together in life. And they have to come together in order to pursue this purpose. But somebody could be... Their purpose could be to do something on their own, but with their hands or their legs. And somebody's trying to destroy the person's hands or legs. And the thing is, there's this particular um, torture method where people are hanged with their arms tied behind their back. And it destroys the person's arms without leaving any marks at all. So the person won't be able to use their hands anymore. But it looks like nothing happened on the outside. So this could also be somebody who's trying to abuse a person without leaving marks. This could be somebody who wants to marry a particular person and then subsequently abuse them in a way that doesn't show any marks in any way. 
somebody's very sinister they have a very sinister mind and some very messed up uh, fantasies about what they will do to this person when they get them i saw 10 10 they want to end this person they actually want to end the person's life altogether, but they're going to do it slowly. So somebody wants to slowly kill someone and uh, make, make this person maybe take their own life. So they will abuse them until the person wants to take their own life. So they don't get their hands dirty. It doesn't look like they did anything. So people think that they can still hide things like this in this day and age, which is very misguided of them. Eight of Swords, they're trying to trap someone, exactly. They want to keep somebody hostage and torture them. And it's coming through over and over again. This could be somebody coming in, asking a person to marry them and taking them on holiday somewhere. I just saw 11-11, pretending to be their twin flame, pretending to be their counterpart or saying that they are the counterpart and they want marriage because 11 11 or four of wands is the marriage card so they're getting married and then they're going on holiday to a place where this person doesn't have many rights and this person can end up tortured by somebody else altogether so the person's hands are clean they could be trying to take this person to a war zone somewhere or a place where there are a lot of T words. I can't say the word, but I think you know what I mean. People who destroy in the name of religion. There we go. So somebody's trying to have the T word torture this person. They want this person to get caught up. So they themselves may not be doing anything. They're just taking this person somewhere where they can get arrested and done like that. That's what I'm getting. And they're just sit there and laugh as the other person is taken away and possibly even uh, hurt in front of them. Queen of Wands, there's an Aries here or somebody who's very angry who wants to see the other person being hurt. Eight of Pentacles, they're working on it. This person could be working on giving somebody a gift, making somebody an offer. They could also be doing some kind of spell work. 85 or 58 could be significant again. Somebody could be 58, born in 58. Somebody could be born in 1985 or something happened in 85. But the pentacles talk about years, so 58 years, 85 years could be significant. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. They want somebody to actually lose the ability to use their hands or their feet or both 37 somebody could be 37 they could be an air sign 87 somebody be born in 87 they could also be an air sign doesn't have to be ten of cups but it was in reverse who is the person who wants this other person to be caught and tortured five of pentacles Somebody who feels left out. 85 is here again, or 58. So this could definitely be someone who's... Even 85. 85, 58, born in 85, or born in 58. We've got the chariot. Could be a cancer. Somebody could have cancer in their chart, or they have cancer. This person could literally be dying of cancer. Queen of Swords reversed. Could definitely be an air sign six of swords look eight seven six it's a countdown so there's a countdown to when this person's leaving the world this person could actually be very sick it could be their karma their sickness is their karma with the wheel of fortune here the number 10 is also an ending 
So this person's karma could be to die of cancer, literally. And with the Knight of Cups, this person still wants to come in and make a love offer. They want to ask somebody to marry them and see this other person being um, abused or abuse them themselves. Is this somebody from the past? Is this a past person coming back? Free of Wands. This is somebody who's manifesting another person with the Free of Wands. They're waiting for their ships to come in. So somebody could be traveling to a particular place before the end of the year. And another person's waiting for them to come. King of Swords could be an air sign. So this person's pretending to be loving, free of pentacles, Ferti free could be significant, but somebody's waiting for a person to come back to them, to come back home or to their hometown or something like that, ace of swords. Who is this person to them? Who is this two of pentacles, king of cups? This is somebody who's supposed to love them. Four of Pentacles, 34 could be significant or free, free, four. Queen of Pentacles, this could be somebody's mother or father. Four of Swords, this could be somebody's parent or somebody's husband or wife or ex husband, ex wife. This could be a mother figure in general, somebody who took care of them growing up, even. King of Cups, again, King of Cups came out. So this is somebody who was supposed to love and nurture them with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. But instead, this person is sending botched love offers their way. Or they are the botched love offer. I'm not sure. I'm getting something about an ex coming back or some kind of love interest and also a parental figure. And they could be doing something together against the other person. Nine of Cups. They're planning something for the new year. Look how the glasses are stacked exactly like they do during the new year celebration. So somebody's family or one of their family members and an ex or a potential love interest are working together and they're planning something for new year. Ace of, yeah, absolutely. This also makes me think of new year. It looks like you have fireworks behind this cup here and it's nighttime. Something about the year 1991 could be significant. Somebody could even be 91. <sighs> Somebody be born in 91. Something could have happened in 91. Maybe something happened during New Year's celebration in 1991. If anyone remembers what happened in... Okay, I can't even talk. King of Wands. So, we've got this reunion, family reunion, celebration, whatever this is, and then somebody shows up and tries to tempt someone with a love offer, with their stick, or with their cup. Okay, there's a temptress or a tempter coming towards somebody on New Year's Eve, possibly, during the New Year's celebration. That's what I'm getting over and over again. Two of Swords, block them. 42 or 24 could be significant. Somebody could be 24, another person could be 42. Depends now. February and April could be significant. We've got the Empress, number three. So there is a Divine Feminine who is going to receive a botched love offer when they reunite with family members or friends. If they travel anywhere near their hometown or anything like that, somebody is showing up for a reunion. The number three could be very significant. Three people could be reuniting. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. These people need to be blocked. Somebody needs to stay away from these people. 
right yes it's true ace of swords page of pentacles they're coming in with some kind of gift and you have to reject the gift this could even be a father we've got the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles makes me think of a father and a child so somebody might even have to reject a gift from their own father or mother I just saw 2022, something about the year 2022 could be significant. And again, the King of Pentacles came out. This could be a Taurus, but this could just be somebody's father or an ex or somebody who wants to marry them. But there's a collaboration here. There could be a collaboration between three people. There could be a potential love interest and two family members who are colluding against another person ten of swords betrayal ten makes okay family betrayal ten of cups that's what i wanted to say family betrayal with the ten of cups and the ten of swords somebody's own family is betraying them through this reunion that's about to happen the page of pentacles somebody's betraying their child i mean it's clear as day we've got the page of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles here so somebody's own mother and father it's true knight of swords that's the truth the harsh truth because it's the knight of swords and the queen the queen i almost said the queen okay somebody's father could have raised them on their own or somebody's mother raised them on their own and they had to be the mother and the father and they could be resenting their own child for this two of pentacles although there could have been two people there could be a mother and the father and they're both working together very closely against their own offspring which makes no sense whatsoever logically but yes people do that all the time unfortunately knight of pentacles and somebody's about to receive or give a gift the fool to a, somebody they consider to be a fool or the fool is coming back with a gift somebody's coming in quick and they're trying to get this person to elope with them the devil i just saw the devil they're trying to get this person to elope with them to a place where this person can get kidnapped and tortured or arrested and tortured. That's exactly the message. It's very sad. Happy Merry Christmas or whatever. You're celebrating Happy New Year. Six of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting three people doing something together. And the devil. Also three devils here. There are Free people they're free devils these two devils look like they're torturing people and this guy's watching on a screen so they could even be filming somebody being tortured and putting it on the dark web somebody's own family members and some weirdo the gate 20 that's judgment they want people to judge this person badly. Again, we've got the screen here. The person is supposed to be naked on screen. Eight of Cups. They're trying to get this person to walk away from their life purpose, which will lead them to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is about to reach a goal, or they're about to get into a union, or they're about to take a union to the next level. And their family and some exes here, or an ex, or an ex-friend, or whoever this is. They're trying to uh, destroy this person's life. Yes, it's true. I mean, Ace of Swords is the truth. Ten of Cups, family. Somebody's family is doing this. Three members of the family, or two members of the family, and another person. But then we've got Death. Somebody needs to end their relationship with these family members and whoever the other person is from the past. Or these people will end up dead. I just saw 24, 24. Something about the number 24 or 42 is significant. The high priestess. Somebody knows something. So it could be that the person who is targeted knows what these people are planning. Or their intuition is telling them but they might be ignoring the intuition i just saw 24 42 so again 24 and, and 42 they're both significant numbers somebody could be on the cusp of pisces and aries or there's a pisces doing something with an aries in secret 
Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's family members, again, are doing something in secret. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Again, somebody's preparing a gift, but this gift... This is a cursed gift, possibly. Somebody's giving a person a cursed gift. Seven of Pentacles. To slow this person down. Page of Swords. These people are watching in secret. They're spying on somebody. They're pocket watching somebody. And they're about to give them a gift. Which is supposed to stagnate them. The lovers. Yes, this pact. This group of free people. Whether they're family members or lovers. We do have the lovers here. These could be exes. These could also be free exes for somebody. These could be people they had a family with or they lived with. Doesn't necessarily need to be somebody's parents, but for somebody, it's definitely a parent or an aunt. Somebody who raised them. Or somebody who um, grew up with them. <sighs> so I've got King of Wands, Eight of Cups. Somebody needs to walk away from the King of Wands. There's a very aggressive man here who wages a lot of spiritual warfare. And somebody needs to walk away or they've already walked away from this man and now he's mad. Five of Cups. 85 again. Somebody could definitely be born in 85 or something very significant happened to somebody in 1985. 58 could be significant too, but 85 specifically. What about 85? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is single and independent. Maybe they've been single and independent since 1985. Somebody could have started a business in 1985. This could be a business owner. This King of Wands could have had a business since 1985. Or they're born in 85. And they are a business owner. Anyway. Is this a male or a female? The 85 person. Who's this? The devil. <laughs> Could be a Capricorn specifically, but it's the devil. Nine of Swords and the devil. This person's obsessed with the Nine of Swords and the devil. This is a person who has an obsession. They have mental issues. Three of Cups. There could be three people like this. Or this person is working with two other people who have mental issues too. There could be some kind of group psychosis happening here. 83 and 85. Somebody could also be born in 1983. Who else is involved here? Who's the third person? So I feel like these are some people who are in their late 30s to... Yeah, late 30s to 40. Tower moment. Page of Cups. So there's another person. Could be another water sign. This could even be a child. Somebody could be involving their own child in some kind of situation here. Is somebody involving their own child? The child could be giving the gift. There could be a child who is tasked with giving a gift. And this gift is cursed. The child might not even know that they're involved in the whole thing. Or that they're being used as a pawn. Is this the, the child giving a gift, a cursed gift to somebody? The Queen of Wands. Could be somebody who's childish. Or the Queen of Wands is the mother of this child. Could be a fire sign female who has a water sign child. And then we've got the Hermit. 69 could be significant or 96. The Lovers and the Hermit. The Lovers again. This is another Lovers card. Because we have three Lovers cards in this deck. And all of them came out already. 21st of June. Look at the 21st of June again. And look at this. The day and the night. Somebody worships the sun god or a sun god. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could be a Leo. The wheel of fortune represents the fixed sign. Leo is one of the fixed signs. Number 10. And the star. 
the sun is a star and look the sun is no it's not the sun it's strength but it's leo energy so there could definitely be a leo here they worship the stars Somebody's into astrology. Somebody understands astrology very well. They're doing everything in their life according to astrology. The Queen of Cups. This could be a water sign. Somebody could also be doing some form of water scrying or whatever you call it. Five of Swords. They're doing this because they're trying to cause issues. So they're giving people certain presents, pretending to be loving and kind. And then they're watching to see what happens. I just saw 3100. Something about the end of this year, the 31st of December. Somebody wants something to happen by the 31st of December. They want to see the outcome of their spell work by the 31st of December. Nine of Swords. Six of Cups. They want somebody to lose their mind, possibly. To have some kind of meltdown. Five of Swords. 95. Something about the year 1995 is significant. They want somebody to um, have the mind of a child. They want somebody to keep reliving the past thinking about their past or thinking about somebody they knew in 95 nine of wands 99 95 and 99 these are two significant years the year 1999 and the year 1995 somebody could have been abused within that time frame or bullied or something of the sort. And they want this person to feel and think the same way they did back then. Ten of Cups. And this could be somebody's own family doing this. The lovers. This could also be somebody who wants to start the family. With this person. So I don't know why somebody would want to start a family with a person who has the mind of a child and is still living in their trauma from their youth or from their childhood. I don't understand why. Unless they are only marrying this person because they're trying to destroy the person secretly. I just saw 3300. The lovers, number six, love from the past. So there's somebody from the past who wants to come back and they're trying to get this person to be nostalgic, but there's nothing to be nostalgic about because this person mistreated them in the past. But they're trying to mess with their mind to make them think only of the positive things possibly. They're trying to get the person to remember only the good times if there are any. But we've got seven of wands and death. This person is blocked from the other person's energy. They won't be able to do what they want to do. Because somebody literally wants to ask another person to marry them. But this person will block them. It's over with the death card. Somebody could even be physically passing away. Because of what they've been doing. I just saw 3355. Somebody could be between 33 and 55. 21, the world. This is another ending. It's the end. They can't come back in. This is blocked. So somebody's being warned that these people are planning against them. But whatever they're planning is blocked. Six of Cups. Yes, people from the past are doing spell work on somebody to try to get this person to destroy their own lives. Who's doing the spell work again? Let's clarify. Who's doing the spell work? Strength. Could be a Leo specifically. Could be a female. 
The number eight could be significant. Somebody could have an eight life path. They could be born in August. So definitely could be a Leo. It could be an August Leo. Could be a female. I said it could be a female five of swords. This person wants to win at all costs with the Leo and the Aquarius energy. And Gemini, six, the lovers. This could be somebody's lover from the past. This could be an ex-wife, possibly. Somebody's ex-wife who's a Leo. Or a Gemini. Uh, the magician could also talk about Gemini. Could also be Aries or Virgo. 86. Somebody be born in 1986. Could be a Leo, an August Leo born in 1986 who pretended to be somebody's friend. So this could be a friend. Sagittarius is here too. This person could have Leo and Sagittarius in their chart. Somebody be born on the 14th. This is 14. 6 and 8. So 14th of August 1986. 